Year 6 and welcome to today's arithmetic video. Now the best use of your time and the best use of this video is to make sure that you've already had a go at today's arithmetic questions and that you're now sat with your book, your pencil and your editing pen in front of you so that you can review your methods and strategies with me now and also reflect upon any mistakes you've made and do your editing and correcting. Remember that um, making a mistake, there's always an opportunity to learn from that. Okay, we need to be seeking those opportunities and challenging ourselves to learn new methods and overcome challenges. So don't be afraid or be put off by that year six. Okay, let's start then with question number one. We've got 836,297 add 142,382. And I've set up my formal column method here ready for us. Hopefully you've chosen to use the same method. So we start over here in the ones column. Seven add two is nine. 9 add 8, well if I know if I take 1 from the 8 and add it to here that would be 10, leaving me with 7 to um, add, so it would be 17. I know 2 and the 1 I've carried is 3, and 2 3's are 6. 6 and 2 is 8, 3 and 4 is 7, 8 and 1 is 9. 978,679. Give your work a neat little tick if you've got that one. If you know that you need to review your learning, please pause the video now. Okay, question number two then. 4,327 multiplied by seven. So again, I've set up the formal column method here. Hopefully you've done the same. So we're going to start over here with 7 times 7, which is 49. 2 times 7 is 14. Add the 4 we've carried is 18. 3 times 7 is 21. Add the 1 we've carried, 22. 4 times 7 is 28. Add the two we've carried is 30. So our answer is 30,289. Again, if you've got that one, give it a neat little tick. Pause the video now if you need to review your learning. Okay, question number three. We've got 517,278 subtract 285,116. Okay, I'm going to start over here in the ones column with 8 subtract 6. 8 subtract 6 is 2. 7 subtract 1 is 6. 2 subtract 1 is 1. 7 subtract 5 is 2. 1 subtract 8. I need to exchange. I'm going to exchange and use a 10 to make 11 subtract 8, which is 3, and 4 subtract 2 is 2. 232,162. Again, year 6, give that one a tick if you've got it. And if you need to reflect upon your method or your strategy, please pause the video now. Okay, this brings us to question number 4. We've got 9,864 divided by 12. I'm going to start by thinking, how many times does 9 divide by 12? Well, it doesn't. So I'm going to exchange my 9 and bring it across to make 98. How many times does 12 go into 98? Well, I know 12 times 4, because I know my 12 times table. 12 times 4 is... If you're not sure, work out 12 times 2 first of all, and 12 times 4 is 48. Therefore, I know that if I double 4, it makes 8. So therefore, I know 12 times 8, double 9 at 48 is 96. And that's, that's as close as I can get. So 98 divided by 12 is 8, 
with a remainder of 2. I count on from 96 until I get to 98 to find my remainder. 12 into 26, well I know that's going to go twice because 12 times 2 is 24, that's as close as I can get to 26, we'll have a remainder of 2. And 12 into 24 goes twice. So our answer is 822. If you've got that one, give it a neat little tick. If you need to review your learning, please pause the video now. Okay, this leads us on to our final um, arithmetic question of today and one that we're all very familiar with now. We've got that mixed operation, so we've got more than one operation in our number sentence. Can you remember the acronym that we use to help us order or decide on the order of operations? Well, remember year six, we use Bodmus. So B stands for, that's right, brackets. Have I got any brackets in this number sentence? Yes, I have, so I need to do those first. 8 divided by 2 is 4. I've done the brackets. I've got no other or um, squared or cube numbers. I've got no division. I have got some multiplication to do. I've got 4 multiplied by 25. I know 4 times 25 is 100, so I'm going to jot that down just while I check and I've got no other calculations to do, no addition, no subtraction, and my answer therefore is 100. If you've got that one year six, give it a neat little tick. If you need to review your learning, please pause the video now. Okay, we're on to our flashback for today then. We're going to start with question number one, which may have been a little bit of a challenge to some of us. So well done if you were resilient and you had a go and didn't give up. That's part of our gateway this half term, isn't it? Being an explorer and being determined. So we want to know which pair of angles. Now a pair of angles means we're looking at two angles are vertically opposite each other. Now I know opposite, um, I know that means sort of side by side or next to each other. Now normally vertical, when I think of the word vertical, I think of a line in this direction. However, when we are talking about angles, it's slightly different, okay? So when we see vertical angles, a vertical angle means they share the same vertex. Okay, so vertical um, in this case means they share, or the angles share, the same vertex, that's the corner, okay, the corner point. Okay, it's not the usual meaning. Now, I know some of you have been um, doing some journaling in your maths books. So some of you may want to pause this video now and record that new piece of learning in your maths book. Okay, so what we're looking for then is an angle that shares the same vertex or the same corner point. So if I look at these two angles, these pair of angles, they don't share the same corner point. There's actually a space between them. Let's make that a bit bigger so you can see. Okay, there's a gap there. When I look at these two angles at B, they do share a corner point. They're attached to this vertex point here and they are opposite each other, so it could be B. Let's have a look at C. So this angle has a vertex here, and this angle has a vertex or corner point here. They don't share the same corner point, so it can't be C. So therefore, I'm certain that it is B. Okay, let's have a look at question number two then. 
what do the angles in a straight line add up to? Now, I'm just going to remind you, Year 6, that when we think about this question, just make that a bit smaller, okay, the straight line, it doesn't matter if it's vertical, or if it's horizontal, or if it's diagonal, it can be any straight line. It doesn't matter which direction it's going in or where it's facing. All the angles on a straight line add up to, that's right, well remembered, 180 degrees. Okay, you must have that degrees symbol in there to be able to tick your answer correctly. So some of you might need to review that in a moment. Okay, then question three. It says, what fractions, we need to be thinking about fractions now, of the fruits are apples? So I know that the number on the bottom of a fraction, the denominator, tells me what it's out of. So I want to know, out of all of these fruits, how many are apples? Okay, that's going to help me set up my fraction now. So let's think about the fruits first. What's it out of in total? One, two, three, four, five. If I take this first group here, that's five. I see this group is repeated. So I've got five, 10, 15, 20 pieces of fruit all together. Now I can think about that numerator, which tells me how many out of 20 are apples. So let's have another look. I'm just focusing on apples now. So we've got two, four, six, and eight. So eight out of 20 are apples. Now at this point, year six, I can ask myself a question. Well remembered, can I simplify this fraction? What do you think? Yes, I can, because I know that 4 is a factor of 8 and 20. So 4, or 8, oh sorry, 8 can be divided by 4 and that would equal 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So therefore, this, this fraction in its simplest form is two fifths. Okay, let's have a look then at question number four. So it says, work out four add five multiplied by six. So again, we've got, just like we had in that last question the last time round, and a bit of arithmetic before, we've got a mixed calculation number sentence. There's more than one calculation to do. So just like you reminded earlier, we're going to use Bodmus. This time, I don't have any brackets. I don't have any um, other, so no squared or cube numbers. There's no division to do, but there is some multiplication. I've got to do five times six, first of all. And five times six is, well remembered, 30. So I'm going to jot that down so I don't forget. And next is addition. Do I have any addition to do? Well, yes, I do. I've got to do 4 add 30, which would be 34. I'm going to jot that down. Have I got any subtraction to do? No. So therefore, my answer is 34. And that concludes year six, our arithmetic and flashback for Monday the 8th of February. Please use this video to review any methods or strategies that you've um, got confused with and then send me your learning on Class Dojo. Okay, have a great day everybody.